Indians are the only one-legged participants in a two-legged race to prosperity. And in some ways, they are hobbled at every step by the state telling them what they can't do for their own families and for their own betterment. More than 1,500 laws across India are holding back millions of entrepreneurs from creating jobs and workers from earning more. Our laws today prevent women from entering the job market, restrict workers from securing higher wages and penalize enterprises that want to grow. From the employee perspective also, the freedom to work, when to work, how much to work, sometimes we have put onerous regulations on that. And this is the problem that Prosperity is trying to solve. Uh, systematically and consensually removing all these hindrances to human flourishing in India so ordinary Indians can prosper. We started our journey three years ago with the mission to lift a billion Indians into prosperity. We need to persuade governments, go state by state to remove these bottlenecks and barriers to enable the greatest economic opportunities for the average Indian. Prosperity's approach to change begins with identifying the legal constraints in the way of economic growth, identifying the law, the exact text of the law, and the economic consequences of the restrictions placed on Indians. Currently, we are supporting Punjab and Uttar Pradesh governments on their reform journey. In the next three to five years, we want to be able to support the next set of uh, states, the next set of five to eight states, right, and have this cascading effect of reforms. We want to focus on labour and building and construction as our two focus areas. Prosperity has both built trust within the government and that trust has opened up avenues for them to collaborate and co-create some of those roadmaps. So I can see that very senior people have agreed to Prosperity's recommendations and are batting for that. In addition, we are shaping the policy position on gender discrimination in India. Our first report, the State of Discrimination Report, is the first report that catalogues every instance of legally sanctioned discrimination against women job seekers. For what we need is a cultural change in mindsets in the way we look at what businesses can do for our people and prosperity for the nation. Which is to say that can you open your mind to human freedom and to human quest for bettering their own lives.